Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Rick. I'm a heating, air conditioning, and refrigeration technician, and I carry a flashlight every day at work, and my choice of flashlight is Phoenix. My choice is the PD35. It's 1700 looms. I carry it in a Kydex case, which makes it readily accessible, makes it easy to get in and get out. Doesn't fall out, haven't lost it. Now, I've been using Phoenix flashlights somewhere around 15 plus years. One thing I don't like about this flashlight is when the weekend rolls around, I don't really want to wear this when I have my better clothes on. It's just not the most attractive thing out there. Now, one of the reasons why I'm showing this flashlight off is because I want to show you what happened to it. So I was working on a circulator pump about 10 to 12 foot in the air and I dropped my flashlight onto concrete. To say the least, flashlight still works. Hey, that's all that matters, right? Well, unfortunately, as you can see there, the lens was broke, but the flashlight still works which, you know, if you're relying on this because you're a cop or security or whatever the case, you've got to have a light that works. I mean, a light that's going to work and be reliable for you is more important than glass that's just glass. Even though this was damaged by misuse by accident, Phoenix went ahead and took care of me and sent me out a brand new flashlight. Now, while I was talking to them, they asked me if I'd like to do another review on a flashlight. They offered me a couple different choices. So I chose to go with an everyday carry flashlight that I thought you guys might be interested in. So the everyday carry flashlight that I chose to go with is the PD25R. As you can see, there's quite a size difference as far as length. Now, diameter wise, they're pretty much exactly about the same diameter. But let's go into some of the similarities because I think you're going to like this. So one of the things that this has in common with my other flashlight is, is when you apply power to the back, you can see the green light comes on. That has the option of showing you green solid, green flashing, red, and red solid. It's going to tell you what the charge of state is in the battery, which that way you know whether or not you're going to have a battery that's going to last you the rest of the day. And if the battery does go dead, you have the option of charging this with the USB. Now I've had flashlights that had the USB built into it, but I've never had it hidden like this one is. As you can see here, you can rotate this collar and then a USB-C is right underneath there. Now that USB-C plug is waterproof. And as you would imagine, that keeps the junk out of the charging port. One of the features of that clip is that it is reversible. You can hook it on your hat and use it hands-free. You flip it around and you're able to put it in your pocket and hang it on the outside of your pocket or your bag or whatever. So that clip, like I said, is removable. So you're able to get in there and use it for that. And if you don't want it, you can easily remove it. On the end here, we have a rubber switch that allows you to turn the flashlight on and off. It's gonna go into the last power setting that it had before. And the actual brightness is adjustable here on the side. This does have multiple modes of operation. We have eco, low, medium, high, and turbo, plus you have strobe. Now the maximum power on this is 800 lumens, and in turbo mode, it can feature as much as 15,500 candela, all the way down to the eco mode that gives you 90 candela or five lumens. It does offer an impact resistance for right around one meter, and it is IP68 rated. Now, as I explained earlier, even though this is 800 lumens, and this one here that I carry every day is 1700, you're gonna see that the throw on this is pretty impressive. What's really neat about it is it fits right in your hand like nothing, so you can put it right in your pocket. Now, one of the other nice features about this is it does feature a rechargeable battery. This rechargeable battery is a 16340 battery, which means you can also use a replaceable 123 battery in it, so if you don't have your charger with you, whatever your excuse is, don't want to mess with it, you can put a 123 in there and you're not stuck to recharging the battery. Now taking a closer look on the inside, it's gold plated spring here on the back and it's gold plated down there where the battery actually makes contact. But I've never really had many problems with the switch on any of the Phoenix flashlights. You can either press half down or you can lock it in and hold it. Now this is the box that it does come in. Here's all the specifications of the flashlight. You can pause that and zoom in on it. As you might expect, it comes with the normal accessories, it comes with a little case for you to hold it, which is a Velcro nylon case, it comes with a USB-C to USB-A, a warranty card, and a few of their new products that they're trying to showcase here, along with the user manual. This right here is the eco mode. So our next step here is the low setting. Right there is our medium, which starts to light it up. Now we're gonna go up to high. As you can see, we're actually throwing it out there into the field fairly far, and now we can go into turbo. Now you can see this little light is able to throw it all the way back there to the very back. So here they are compared together, both of them on their eco mode. The next step up, now obviously my bigger light is a little bit brighter. As you can see over here on the left, going to the next step, 
these both are throwing all the way out there because the way the reflector is, it's got quite a throw. Stepping up to the next step, as you can see, there's my larger flashlight. Here's the PD25R. Going to turbo on each of them. There's turbo on the 25R. Here is turbo on the 35. That is the 35 3.0, so I will put a link down in the description below for both lights. If you guys want to support the channel, you can get either one of them through Amazon. The throw out there on the field is quite far. That was with the big light. Here is the small light. Well, that's a quick overview of the flashlight. I went through some of the other reviews that are out there, and one of the main complaints I heard was that the button on the back, it does not allow it to do a stand like that. But like I said, this is an EDC, everyday carry flashlight. It's going to be small. It has the features of having rechargeability while you're on the go. It's coming in right now at about $59.95 area on Amazon. The PD35 version 3.0 comes in right around $80. My feeling is compared to some of the other flashlights out there, it just depends whether you want a good, reliable flashlight. But if you are looking for something that's reliable, definitely consider looking at the PD25R. It's got the same build quality as all the other Phoenix flashlights that I've done reviews on in the past. It has the ability to run a 123 if you don't want to charge on the go. Love the reversible hat clip. Uh, there's times when I don't have my head beam with me. I'm able to put that right on my hat and it'll freeze up my hands so I can work safely. I like the way that the switch, when you push on it, it actually lights up. It doesn't cut in and cut out. And it does carry a five-year warranty that's extendable and it has a limited lifetime warranty. Read the details to get more into that. Like I've mentioned before, there's a reason why I like these flashlights is because they've been very reliable and I haven't had any issues. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down below. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.